Yes, while Thor's hammer might be just that, Thor's hammer, more characters need care to admit of taking control of the object and the power it possesses. It's a trope comic book writers have utilized repeatedly over the years, and while some characters are infinitely more worthy than others, one can't help but feel that maybe, just maybe, some of them shouldn't have been up to the task. Still, there's no denying the value of seeing someone other than the Odinson wielding his mighty weapon. It's a massive feat to accomplish, and there's a reason why writers keep returning to that concept. People look great swinging around an ancient Nordic weapon, and when it's a hero or villain you don't expect, you begin to understand the gravity of their accomplishments. With that in mind, I'm Ewan from What Culture Comics, and here are 10 characters who have lifted Thor's hammer. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding, ding, done. Number 10. Awesome Android. Awesome Android is about as big a misnomer as you could find in the Marvel Universe. But to the robot's credit, he did manage to swipe Mjolnir on one occasion. A brainless blockhead with a moveset derived from DC's Amazo, Awesome Android, or Andy, as it were, actually managed to wield Thor's hammer thanks to a cosmic loophole. While Andy was far from being worthy in the traditional sense, he was able to impersonate Thor's own worthiness and subsequently wield the hammer during a rare confrontation with the God of Thunder. Number 9. Superman If any character from the DC Universe is going to be worthy enough to wield Thor's hammer, it would have to be the Man of Steel. The last son of Krypton has long been DC's most storied character, but with that history has also come a reputation for benevolence and righteousness. So when DC and Marvel chose to make a Justice League Avengers crossover in 2003, it was always likely that he'd be the one to lead the charge on both fronts. The stakes were massive, and with the fate of the multiverse in the balance, Kal-El not only wielded Captain America's mighty shield, but Thor's hammer as well. Number 8. Jane Foster if it hasn't been made abundantly clear already, Jason Aaron's run on Mighty Thor is bound to go down as one of the all-time greats of the medium. The writers marshaled the experiences of the Odinson effortlessly for years now, but while that particular Thor has come to dominate large parts of Aaron's run, it is another that captured the hearts of the character's most ardent fans. Beginning in the immediate aftermath of 2014's original sin, Aaron introduced Jane Foster as Mjolnir's new owner sparking a key shift in the character's history and galvanizing the franchise for a whole new generation of readers in doing so. Jane has everything a modern god had to be. Confident, self-assured, boisterous, and proficient in both physical and verbal warfare. More important, however, was how she made readers forget all about the original Odinson. Number 7. Red Hulk Having any hero or villain wield Thor's hammer should instantly denote how big of a threat they really are. Sometimes, however, having a character lift Mjolnir can end up inspiring the opposite effect, as was the case when Red Hulk went on a rampage across the Marvel Universe in 2008. A Jeff Loeb, Ed McGuinness creation, Rolk, which no, isn't the way Scooby-Doo refer to him as, but what his fans actually do, marked his introduction by defeating pretty much everyone in the Marvel Universe. It was overkill, plain and simple, and while the character has his fans, the image of him lifting Mjolnir in space and tossing Thor around like a ragdoll only epitomizes just how childish a creation he was. Number 6. Beta Ray Bill Beta Ray Bill might boast a goofy name, but he wouldn't be loved by Thor fans if he wasn't an absolute horse lad alien thing. Introduced in 1983 in a way that didn't immediately broadcast his heroic destiny, the Walt Simonson creation was decidedly more monstrous than his contemporaries. Simonson did this to maintain a sense of ambiguity with the character. What makes Bill so important, however, isn't how monstrous he is rather that he was the first non-Norse character to pick up Mjolnir and wield the powers of Thor. Granted, he only did so for a temporary period, but Bill found a fine replacement in Stormbreaker, a weapon bestowed to him by Odin in order to settle the contest between his son and the alien. Number 5. Storm Storm and Thor couldn't be further apart in the Marvel Universe. They do share a mutual love for inclement weather though, and with that in mind, it was only a matter of time before the two crossed paths. Writers do, after all, love a good gimmicky team-up. During Chris Claremont's long-running and revered stint on X-Men, Storm was gifted with the power of Thor thanks to Loki, who fashioned a new hammer called Storm Caster for the mutant to use once she was transported to Asgard along with her fellow X-Men. Sensing this deception, 
Aurora relinquished control of the hammer and went back to her usual self, but the moment she first wielded the hammer still made for an impressive panel. Years later, Storm would wield Mjolnir for real after giving into temptation and accepting Stormcaster from Loki, fighting Thor before grappling the hammer in a melee between the god and the mind-controlled mutant. She was again returned to normal afterwards, but as far as potential Thors go, they don't get much cooler or more appropriate than Amora Munro. Number 4. Steve Rogers If any Marvel hero were to stand a reasonable chance of wielding Mjolnir, it was always going to be Captain America. A man with a heart of gold and a shield of vibranium, the OG Captain is one of Marvel's most important characters, and with a presence and demeanor built to rival Superman's, it only makes sense that Cat was able to wield the power of Thor, at least for a brief amount of time. The first instance saw Rogers come to the Odinson's aid when he was under attack from Set's underlings, as the captain picks up Mjolnir and smites them all to smithereens. The second, however, involves Steve rallying the Avengers together after Thor's brother almost destroys the planet, with the captain going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Skadi, Thor's niece, in the comic's climactic battle. Number 3. Wonder Woman During yet another Marvel DC crossover, this time in 1996, Wonder Woman managed to wield Mjolnir, albeit in a very unflattering 90s redesign, against Storm herself. Wonder Woman ceded control of the hammer as she felt it would be an unfair contest to use in battle. Worse still, because the crossover was optioned as a series of fights between Marvel and DC's heroes, fights that would then be decided by fan votes no less, Wonder Woman ended up losing anyway. Number 2. Zeus Norse mythology might be placed front and center in Marvel's cosmic comics, but that hasn't left the universe insular to other histories and legends. But only one character from any has managed to wield Mjolnir, at least temporarily. In Thor Annual No. 8, the eponymous god of thunder himself comes across the baddest Greek of all, Zeus, as he's transported back in time to the original Trojan War. Shenanigans ensue, and Thor and Zeus end up fighting each other. Zeus, you know, being Odin's equal and all, turned out to be a big match for the God of Thunder, going so far as to stop Mjolnir dead in its tracks when the Thunder God flung it in his direction. Number 1. Loki Everyone familiar with the God of Mischief knows he'd love to wield Mjolnir, and he has on plenty of occasions. Whether it be through trickery or some kind of magic incantation, Thor's half-brother has managed to wrest control of his hammer and wreak havoc time and again. Only one time he actually managed to wield it properly. During Al Ewing's Loki Agent of Asgard, the titular God of Mischief was able to use Mjolnir after his villainous demeanor was reversed by Scarlet Witch. This came in response to the machinations of a Red Skull controlled Professor X, who'd managed to best the world's heroes with a series of specially constructed sentinels designed to take down heroes, not villains, specifically. Whatever your thoughts on Loki, he actually suited Mjolnir well, donning his own Thor-esque costume in the process and battling it out with a band of mind-controlled heroes in a series of meticulously drawn panels constructed by artist Lee Garbutt. Yeah, yeah, he had to drop the hammer afterwards, but for one brief, bittersweet moment, Loki was truly worthy. Yo, dude, you made it through to the end of the video, and that's pretty sick, dude. The people who wrote it and did all the other bits and bobs, their names are down there, dude. And to my left there, dude, there are some other videos you can watch, dude. Yeah, and on the right, there's some other videos, dude, but they're from the different channels, dude, so might not be worth checking out, dude. Totally lame. Totally.